Well, hey there. Today, we are going to plant some fruit trees. Now, for me, this is the same day as the last time. You might have seen this where I was planting some other trees. But today, um, in this part, we're gonna be taking a look at how we're gonna plant these fruit trees. So here's a good look at them. Now, one thing you'll notice here is I have them in a bucket. So once you take them out of dormancy, the first thing you want to do is get them in a bucket, put them in some water, and get those roots or those roots wet as soon as you can. That's going to be important uh, in preserving the tree so that the roots don't dry out. You don't want your roots to dry out. So here is the general location where the orchard's going to be going. We got a fire pit down there. We've got our deck right here. And then over that way, eventually, is going to be a, a field of some sort. So we don't want to put anything too far over that way. Here we have a cherry tree already established. There we have an apple tree already set up and starting to put on some buds. And then here we have some lilacs. So, as you can see here, this is my orchard plan. So, you know, lilac bush is right there. You can kind of see the lilacs I have on here and then everything how it's going to be laid out. So this is my plan. I, I got about 15 foot spacing. Um, 15 because most of these are semi dwarf trees so they don't really need a lot of spacing. Um, they're not going to get you know the size of a full sized apple tree. Some of them are also peach and pear and other varieties as you can see. So we won't need that much room between them. So we're gonna go about 15 foot between trees. So first thing I'm gonna do is get our rows and um, where everything's gonna be laid out set up. Let's get started. All right, there's our hole. It's about a two foot across hole. These are fairly small trees, so we don't need a super uh, big hole. And you know, a lot of people do this differently, um, but I like to preserve sort of the layers of the soil. So I don't like to fill the entire hole with a really rich soil. I want the tree to really do well here in our place. So what I like to do is I like to take back the sod and put that in one spot. Then I like to put like some nice black dirt, that top layer of dirt, in another pile. And then some of our clay, that lower stuff, in another pile. And that is what I put back in first. And that really helps pre preserve the structure of the soil, which I find is important for trees. Um, you know, just because once they get down into that clay, it tends to per conserve the moisture a lot longer than if you really um, put like a loamy, um, you know, soil way down deep in the root system for the tree. You know, some people will probably argue with me on that, but then what I'm gonna do is just on the very top then, like, you know, the first, the top two inches or so of, of the soil, there's where I'll put my rich compost soil, and then that will, you know, um, feed the tree as it waters or as it rains, um, and that should work out pretty good, you know? It's kind of what I've done with that tree over there, and it's doing well. Um, so it seems to work pretty good. Now, I don't want a tree that's too dependent upon fertilizers anyway, but I will come back and, you know, once a season maybe apply um, an organic fertilizer to where the tree's going to be, um, or where the tree is, just to make sure that it's continually getting the nutrition it needs year after year. Now, for me, what I'm probably going to do is just um, put some um, composted chicken manure from the coop on the very top year after year to help um, feed that tree. Then here on this end, I'll dig another hole for a tree there, and I'll dig a hole for a tree there, and that'll get that first row set up. And again, you can see that I've staggered the trees in a triangle shape. So in between there is where our sea berry will go, and that's a nitrogen fixing plant as well, and there'll be another one over here. So that's the game plan. Now I'll keep digging holes. 
All right, well the first things we're gonna start with here are plum trees. So we've got two different varieties. A Juanita plum, that's this large tree here. And then the black ice plum, which is this one here. So let's get those out and get them planted. Oh, they're bound up a lot worse than I thought they were. We might just put them all in the respective holes right away. All right, roots look pretty good. Honest moment, some of the roots are not looking so great. Some of these trees don't look so great. We'll see if they make it or not. Particularly, there's a male sea berry plant that's not looking so good. Uh, but we'll see. I've got the, uh, these are the bush cherries here. They look a little dried out, but as you can see, there are some buds on them, so hopefully it's not too late. And then these here are the raspberries. So I've got them soaking in the water. Hopefully they come back. You know, the roots are dry. They're supposed to be in a dormant state. So they should be fine. So what I've been doing now is just going and filling up all the holes with water, as you can see, and then we'll be ready to fill these holes with dirt and get these trees planted. Here's my first apple tree. This is the Zest Sar. So we're gonna go ahead and get this in the ground. Now, if I don't know if you can see this or not, but you can see right up here, this is where some of these first roots are coming out. So the, the top of this tree, I think, is actually right here. Now, usually you don't want to plant very high above the root ball at all, but since we've got roots coming out up here, about there is going to be where it's at. go. Now I'll continue doing the rest of them and I'll pick up with you when I'm all done. Whew, long day. Well we are just about done. Um, got all the apple trees planted and uh, and we got our three bush cherry trees here planted. And I'm about ready to call it quits. Except for we're gonna do one more thing, and that's the raspberries. But I'm gonna utilize the help of my tractor. All right, time to tractor. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Two passes and done. There it is. We're gonna get some grass up along there, but eventually, you know, the um, 
the the uh, the raspberries should grow up in there good. So let's get those planted. All the raspberries are planted. We have two different varieties in here. This one here is called Latham, as you can see there. And both of these are, this one's like a little later bearing, and then this one is a really early bearing one, and this one's called Prelude. So, we'll see how they do. We got two different varieties, we'll see which one we like the best. Now we gotta go water all them trees. And I got an idea as to how I might do that quickly. Let's go give it a shot. All right, let's go. Running out of daylight. It ain't pretty, but it works. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm tuckered. That was a good day. I'll just uh, give you a last update on what we have left to plant. So, didn't get everything done, although I wasn't anticipating I'd get everything done. So, in here yet, uh, we have some grapes that we still need to plant. Um, you can see them here. Yeah, but they're still doing okay. Got some moisture in the bag there, so they'll be all right. Um, they're gonna have to wait a couple of days. And then here we have our strawberries as well. And these are gonna have to wait a couple days as well, but they're sealed in bags. They're staying nice and moist. They should do just fine, so. Strawberries, grapes, they're up next. But man, does it feel productive to get all of that done. Started off today with a cup of coffee and uh, had enough time for a little lunch uh, but then uh, ended on a high note getting all that done. Man did that um, tote and trailer work slick. Um, that high flow nozzle there was able to fill up that five gallon bucket in about five seconds. So I was able to get all of the trees watered 
every single last one. That is, let's see, what is it? 50 trees. So we planted 50 of the windbreak trees, the white spruce. And then I think we planted at least a dozen fruit trees, maybe more. Yeah, a dozen or so. And then the raspberries. So it was a long day. I'm tired out. We've got some peas and some radishes to plant, so stick along on the next one. And if you like this kind of content, please like, comment, or subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, everybody.